Good morning everybody. Hope you liked the last video. This video, I'm at Fort William. This is literally the quietest I've ever seen this place. I normally come here for the World Cup and it's absolutely heaving but yeah, quite quiet today. The reason why I've come here today is I'm at the Downhill Enduro event. It's a bit of a different event this one, I'm not sure if there's any other places doing it but essentially we have six hours to do as many runs down the Fort William track as possible. <laughs> oh man, I've properly gone in at the deep end on this one. Now as much as I like the Fort, I kind of feel like I need something a little bit burlier to ride down here. So I asked Orange, who are really, really kind, and they sent me a stage six. Check this thing out. So I posted on my uh, Instagram the other day that I had a Strange bike. Uh, so Strange is Orange's kind of prototype brand, I should say. Uh, so I think this is possibly like an early prototype or production prototype of the Stage 6 bike and it's flipping awesome. It's 29 inch wheels which I've never ridden before so this is going to be interesting. I did have an absolute nightmare with the tubeless system this morning though. I foolishly went and rode a little bit of trials on the rocks, dented the rear rim slightly and then you can see all this fluid all over the place literally would not seal again and then it did seal and the tyre completely blew off the rim. So perhaps leave trials to the other bikes then. So yeah, again, massive thanks to Orange for sending me this bike. And also to Pock, they sent me quite a few uh, downhill goodies, uh, trousers, I've got a top that I'm gonna wear and a full face helmet and goggles. So massive thanks to them too. years and I can't believe this is literally the first time I've ever been on this. First time I've been up the hill more than like 100 meters and that's the motorway section down there and uh, I know I always say it but I am nervous. I don't know if I'm going to be able to jump those jumps by the time I get down there. It might be too tired. Who knows? They're pretty big. I've seen a few horrific crashes on there as well and I just don't want that to be me. But this one is actually practice. The event starts at, well, the race starts at three o'clock. So I'm going to give it maybe a couple of practices. Don't want to knack myself out too much, but it'd be kind of cool to know where the track goes. There's my bike at the back there. So I've got my helmet here and yeah, send it. I'm on one of the more brutal tracks in the world. I've never ridden it. I get really bad arm pump on a, on a bike. I've never ridden, I've ridden once. On wheel size, I've never ridden before. I've ridden one time. What have I got myself in for here? Seriously. Right, so that's me at the top. Literally first run ever down Fort William track. So let's see how it goes. Thank you. 
how many times I've got to do this. <laughs> Goes, my, uh, I'm not quite sure if tubeless is my thing. Now then, what's the quickest way, up or down? Hey everyone, having to do a voiceover on this bit for some reason, there was no audio captured. And rather than show you the entire top of the run, which I've literally just shown you in the last clip, I thought I'd show you just this bit. I've come down, had a rest, and I'm feeling pretty good. The bike's feeling good. I'm just gonna hit this corner here nothing too much and you can't hear it but check this out my tire came off i didn't even puncture absolutely insane so annoying and left me with another long walk back down Ugh. so i got down to the bottom i fixed my bike up again and i met up with pete scullion you may remember him from a previous video riding ben Ech. Well, he's just got himself a Vitus downhill bike and he's keen to try it out. This is literally his first run down a hill on it, I think. So I'm going to try and follow him down. Uh, I'm going to leave the torque into a minimum, I think. But one thing I will say is it's a lot rougher on this top bit of the track than I ever imagined it would be. So it's pretty brutal on my arms. I'm getting a bit of arm pump on this one. Pete has ridden this track a few times before, so he knows some of the, the sneaky little lines. I'm trying to follow him, but as you can see, some of these lines I'm choosing are not ones that he's doing and we both have a couple of sketchy moments and you'll see later on I completely mess up quite a few times plus my chain comes off quite often which is very frustrating definitely needed to put on a chain device for this track but yeah sit back and just enjoy a fairly rough uncut footage of us coming down Fort William track now see if I can make it down the entire track this time third time's a charm
sneaky lines. I did about time. practice runs three times the tire has come off the rim tried a few different tires and it's the rim it seems too small so I borrowed a, another tire went through a load of tires and found a tightest fitting one so three runs three fails I'm gonna start the actual race in just a few minutes now no one told me it's a Le Mans style sprint up the hill to start <sighs> uphill it's not what I signed up for but yeah that's what's happening so just get a last bit, bite to eat, go up the hill, and then time to time to race. I'm not sure if you guys noticed the little mishap I had in that last one then. My hand literally came off the handlebar, which isn't ideal, especially as I was on a quite a bit of a bumpy bit. Not only did my hand come off, my palm or my elbow hit my saddle release button, so my seat went up as well, and my chain was off. So yeah, it was not a good time, but made it quite far down so fingers crossed I can make it all the way down without stopping without any mechanicals in the race run. <laughs> Sprinting eh? Take them out down all bikes. <laughs> over again just want to say let that guy pass but now I've got him in my sights I kind of want to follow him down previously we went to the side of the motorway jumps this time I think the motorway jumps are all taped in so I didn't know that I'm just following this guy and he goes and hits the jump so I'm like ah oh, I'm gonna hit these now so yeah I'm basically trying to hit these motorway jumps but my chain has come off so I can't pedal to get any more speed so I am casing these a little bit 
my back wheel hanging up, but I'm pretty pleased with it. I'd love to come back and be on a like maybe a downhill bike or come back with a chain device on the stage six because it was flipping awesome. Just a shame the chain was coming off all the time. But yeah, I'd love to come back and see if I can actually get these a bit smoother next time. Chains off. comes off at every opportunity.
everyone I've done something I rarely do I'm hating life at the minute I've quit I've done one measly run it's supposed to be is it 15 runs is the the max to do one run my arm pump is going crazy they don't call that one of the roughest downhill tracks for nothing as the run the last practice run I did my hand blew off the handlebar I had to ride down with my elbow on the bar on that run I had to stop I don't know how many times it was I have to look back at the footage but I just had to stop because my arm pump my chain was coming off all the time you need a chain device for for that thing and it's to the point where as much as I'd like to con uh, continue I hate quitting it's gonna be too dangerous I cannot hold on if I force myself to go and do that anymore I'm gonna go home in an ambulance I need to be smart about these things so I am really sorry. I've let, maybe I've let you guys down. I've let myself down. I've been bigging myself up for this for ages. I really wanted to do well. Orange sent me this bike up, especially for me to do this and I've not made the most of it. There's photographers here. I didn't get a chance to get some cool like jumps for getting into photos. But these vlogs are the reality of what I get up to in my riding. And this is the reality. Not everyone can get down a hill without arm pump. I can't get down a hill without arm pump. It's getting dangerous. So I'm going home. So I don't know whether you guys are going to enjoy this week's vlog. I don't think I'm going to enjoy editing this back. Like I said, it's the reality. This is what's happened. I just have to deal with it. I've got my health. That's the main thing. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I'll get out on the Charles bike, something I'm better at than pretending I'm a downhill rider but yeah until then guys see you later be more fluent than I've been have a good week